What's up, Tackle Ross fans? Jake here. I'm in the Fish Lab booth with none other than BBZ, Bill Cimatel, I mean, one of the legends of bass fishing. I've, I've been watching, I told Bill, I've been watching it for years and years and years since I was a little kid. And, you know, the development of all the big swim baits. Right. And, I mean, and this guy's developed so many great lures and, uh, and still does to this day. And not just swim baits. I mean, you are obviously tinkering with a <laughs> lot of stuff. I mean, uh, we, we're seeing these baits here. And he said he's had these in his back pocket for multiple years, testing them out, right. playing with them in the garage. And now they're going to be finally available for customers right. uh, from Fish Lab. And, uh, you know, everything here, you know, totally unique stuff, you know, stuff I've never seen before. And uh, so the first one is a new buzz bait that you've been working on. Right. So let's talk about this one. Well, this is very interesting. Yeah. This has been one of those secrets I've been holding on for about 30 years. It was a do-it-yourself concept that we started messing around with in the garage. We found a twin V, so it's a quad blade that has independent twin V blades to it. 30 years ago, guys loved the concept, but it never worked. The uh -huh. blades would stick together and they wouldn't work. So I, I turned around, tinkered with it, figured out yeah. how to fix it, and I kept it in my back pocket. So the cool thing about buzz baits, when you get them out of the package, mm -hmm. if they have any type of clack, if they have a clacker or a bell yeah. or that hits lead, you can't really change the tone, the sound. It's, yeah. it's standard. Yeah. Old school guys, we, when we used to fish bass masters or go to a TOC, we'd tie mm -hmm. these onto our antenna and you try to get the squeak. Yeah. The loudest squeak you got right before it blew apart yeah. is going to catch a fish, but you better have a whole bunch of them sitting on the side. Yeah. So with that in mind, I went with a, long, a shorter shank body. Okay. So most buzz baits are getting longer and longer and longer, which uh -huh. takes away the whole concept of creating a realism bait. We had a new hull design for the head. So before in a buzz bait, to get lift, you had to adjust the props to create uh -huh. lift or drop, right? Yeah. Your drag. Now it's built into the boat-shaped hull design on the head, so okay. no matter if you're going fast or slow, you're going to have automatic lift just with this. We paired it up with the Nature Series frog, so now the illusion went to realism. Instead of having a skirt, uh -huh. you have a frog actually kicking across mm -hmm. the surface, so we hit that mark. Now here's the magic. Okay. Out of the box, when you see these tandem blades, as you put them together, and you will point it to the camera, this is going to have very subtle squeak and very subtle clack. Mm -hmm. Some guys want it, you to just a little bubble trail. Yeah. You have this. How can you adjust the sound with no tools in a boat? All you do is you find the oncoming blade and you could adjust the arch uh -huh. to hit the apex of the other blade. Uh -huh. And it, it sounds like a Gatling gun. It's the loudest That's blade crazy. you're going to see. So you could actually adjust the sound of a blade now by just modifying, pushing it on the boat and bending the prop. And kind of go from, like you're saying, that more subtle buzz bait presentation with just a little squeak to a super loud clacker. So you're getting multiple baits in, right. in one. And, and what happened is, you know, old school guys, when we knew it, when we messed with the blades, it was really tough because if you torqued a quad blade or, you know, a twin blade yeah. or something like that, what happens is the bait started to roll sideways. You didn't mm -hmm. get true, true then, tracking. Yeah, it didn't run straight. Well, with the independent V blades on this, mm -hmm. the one counteracts the other. So this one will track true at super slow or burning it across the water. So it, it's a really great concept. We also build it. We know other anglers like certain plastics. Mm -hmm. You get a ton of them on Tackle Warehouse. Yeah. Any frog bait is able to be put together with this system and work. Mm -hmm. So whatever you love, you can put it on. But if you want a more realistic, true frog profile kicking. It's a Fish Lab Nature Man, Series. What a, what a cool idea and a cool design that, uh, that you've put together. Um, we're super excited about these. We can't wait to get them in. These, are, these will be available soon at TackleWarehouse.com. All right, and next up from Fish Lab, we got kind of a unique hybrid <laughs> style bait, and you're kind of explaining to me the stuff that you can do with this, and this is gonna be another exciting one to add to the Fish Lab lineup. What is it, what's the name of this thing? It's gonna be the Nature Series Topwater Frog. Uh -huh. This follows the line of our Flutter Nymph last year, Cover Bird, mm -hmm. Flippin' Frog. So we were originally starting to work on this frog for the buzz bait, mm -hmm. but then we started tweaking it, and things basically put a life on their own. So yeah. what we did is we kept the same Nature Series profile of the upper frog but we wanted to do an inverted tail. So we wanted yeah. more of the guys who are down, especially in Florida, that loves like that whopper plopper uh, speed worm type of thing. Oh yeah. But we're using it in California, they do in New York, everywhere across the US. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we made a frog that swims horizontal to the water edge, right? Uh -huh. But we did a down swooping tail and we inverted the, the boot tail upside yeah. down. Most swim baits, they're gonna have a regular boot tail like this. Yeah. But what happens is the high low pressure system once this gets out of the water, it never drives back down, so you're never gonna get that deep gurgle uh -huh. commotion. 
So by inverting that tail, when this thing kicks out of the water, it slams back down. So you could speed this across the surface with say like a, a owner beast hook with an eighth ounce. Yeah. 15 pound soft steel, you throw it out there, you bring it across the surface and it just comes to life. But the crazy part, because yeah. we do we do the testing. I mean, we're not just, yeah. in the, we're fishermen. I went out there and I was doing top water during the shad spawn and uh -huh. stroking them on this and I backlashed. Yeah, I know, I backlash. Oh, we all do it. <laughs> I've blown up so many reels and it, it won't be my last. No, it yeah. won't be my either. But it went right. subsurface mm -hmm. and I started reeling it in and with the inverted tail, the down swoop leg and going to the flat profile instead yeah. of around, the tail doesn't spin like a lot of the other swim baits. Uh -huh. It kicks more left and right, uh -huh. which reverberates back and the body came alive. This thing started swimming. So I actually started cool. catching more fish subsurface and then crazy me, Carolina rigging oh, yeah. on a big football head. It's my language there. Yeah, you know, weightless hooks, weighted mm -hmm. hooks, anything from top, middle, bottom, the four inch or four and a quarter inch Nature Series frog, top water. Yeah. It's almost misnamed top water. It's any part of the it water. It can go any part of the water, yeah. which is really cool and, and uh, super interesting, you know, uh, when things happen by accident like that. Know. You know, you figure something out and then it just, the light bulb goes off and it's, uh, you know, why didn't we think of that before? And now you can get this thing, you know, all sections of the water column. Right. A really unique bait. Uh, and like you said, so versatile. You can do so many different things right. with it. If, if guy wanted to be crazy, you could put it on a chatterbait. I'm you sure know. you could do. Well, I'm sure anything. people think of all kinds of stuff yeah. to do with it that we haven't thought of just, in, just yet. But a really cool bait. Uh, it will be available soon. I can't wait to get my hands on these. Make sure you go head over to tacklewarehouse.com and check these out. All right, and last up from Fish Lab, there's another one we were talking about earlier. Something that's... Uh, you know, the, the things you're explaining, you know, it's, it's super exciting and stuff that, uh, you know, the, the science behind some of these baits and <laughs> what you guys do and, you know, the testing that goes on uh, with a guy like you that does so much testing on baits and figuring stuff out that, you know, normal anglers like us, you know, we don't have the time and, and maybe the knowledge of how to, you know, fix some of the problems that are with right. normal traditional baits like a spinner bait. And you've come up with something, you know, again, unique, totally different than what's been out there. Right. Yeah, the biggest thing is is Fish Lab. What we want to do is we want to start going to that next level. Yeah. Spinnerbait's been around for a long time. <laughs> One so, of the first. Yeah, and the, the old saying when you said, what is a spinnerbait? Most people said it's an illusion bait. You try mm -hmm. to make it something. So what we're doing at Fish Lab, we're trying to take a traditional spinnerbait that was proven, 035 stainless steel wire, soldered components, high-grade materials, and we do an aggressive 50-degree angle on this, this wire. That's going to come into play in a second. We did a redesign on the heads. We made it slender so it would go through the grass and wood a lot better. And we added a long shank 5 aught hook. So mm -hmm. we're trying to eliminate the extra parts like a stinger hook. Yeah, okay? you get it way far back there, just um, one less thing you need on it. Right. And just improve your hookup ratio. But then we added something out of the package that a lot of spinner baits have never done, is we actually added a BBZ Mimic tail. Now I've had these tails for about 30 years. Really? And there's a lot of magic. It's like a cherry on top of whipped cream on top of a sundae. Yeah. Sometimes the smallest little thing has the most impact. So mm -hmm. on spinner baits, harmonics, vibration, mm -hmm. you know, these are going to come in a half ounce, three eighths. They're going to mm -hmm. come in a double Colorado, double willow, incredible colors. We're even going to have a bone color spinner bait. Nobody's ever done it. I mean, we're, yeah. we're getting into the detail. But when you have harmonics come through a blade, it goes in the head. Uh -huh. First thing is we did a hand tied silicone skirt so everything's nice and tight, so it's professionally mm -hmm. done. But we're leaving the hook shank bare. We're only adding the mimic tail to the last little section of the hook. So the beauty of this tail, what happens is there's less friction. Yeah. So this bait's able to hunt and deflect off things. Mm -hmm. Here's the beauty of it also. When you fish spinner baits, when you get them out of the package, almost 90% of them will actually swim with the hook down position. Yeah, all, all of them. So what we and do as fishermen, we smash the blades, the wires, and we mm -hmm. try to make like an inline blade. And we're hoping that the fish target the blades and hopefully get your hook. Well, we changed that fish lab. Yeah. We're opening it up, so now the bait fish itself is highlighted. It's mm -hmm. like a mini A-rig. Yeah. So you're getting a better hookup ratio. You're not getting as many blade smacks. Yeah. And the cool thing about this tail, any skirted bait. You guys mm -hmm. sell a ton of chatter baits. Yeah. You put it on a chatter bait, the chatter bait can still continue to hunt. You put Which a boot tail on it. You're, limp, you're getting rid of what makes I've, the magic. I've been, I've made that mistake. I've been a victim of that where, you know, you put a boot tail on that vibrating jig and you're like, what is going on? And it just, you see the two things fighting against each other. And you're like, this does not look right. right. 
And uh, that's super cool. I mean, the spinnerbait is going to come in the package just like this, and it'll have the tail already rigged on it. Yes. Um, and then if, if guys want, like you're saying, if they need a replacement tail, or if you just want to start putting these tails on other baits, right. you know, your vibrating jigs or other skirted baits, uh, you guys are selling just the tails, which is awesome. Right, and the way they're mounted, if you're if you're using a spinner bait with a shorter shank hook, yeah. a lot of guys like using stinger hooks, mm -hmm. the tail is made where you could lay like a two watt stinger hook on top of it with the which keeper is... and it won't affect anything. Because there's some guys, you know, especially tournament anglers, you know, they, they, they'll they never throw one without a stinger hook, you yeah. know, because, you know, there's money on the line and they just can't can't risk it, so they, they, they have to put those on there. But this is such cool, interesting stuff. And you know, a lot of this stuff I'm assuming, you know, like we're, we're bill fishes down in Southern California. Ooh. One of the toughest fisheries in the country, you know, that this stuff comes at a necessity for you guys right. to, you know, make different stuff and uh, and figure out all the kinks with baits and, and, and really get something dialed in. So we're super excited to check these out. Uh, you know, Bill, thanks for your time well, and explaining all guys. this stuff. It's, you know, a lesson in spinner baits and buzz baits. All this stuff's gonna be available soon at Tackle Warehouse. Uh, you know, thanks for having us. And make sure you guys check everything out on the website. See you guys.